welcome back to my channel it's mariah nicole here i am bringing you a new video today i know i said i didn't want to do any makeup looks on this channel because i wanted to be focused on fashion but i just got the new kylie cosmetics wrong way <laughs> kylie cosmetics burgundy palette and i am so obsessed with it um i hope that you enjoy it i am not a makeup artist by any means you guys so if I am doing some techniques wrong or anything this is just the way I do my makeup but if you guys want to see how I got this look just stay tuned and let's get started with the video I'm taking the Marc Jacobs undercover primer to prime my face and prepare for the makeup that I will be putting on later um, I feel like you have to blend it in evenly so you can build that barrier between your foundation and your skin. Now I'm taking the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. This formula is so amazing. I wake up with super puffy eyes and it just minimizes the problem for me because it depuffs everything. Now I'm taking the MAC Paint Pot and laying low. I'm using this as an eyeshadow base. I did go a little bit ham on how much I applied, but um, normally you just need a little bit of amount. I just was a little crazy today. The first transition color for my crease I will be using from the palette is the color Beach, the matte light brown shade. Holy moly, you guys, this stuff is so pigmented. If you can't tell by the footage right here, um, I just dipped a little bit of amount on my brush and it gave me this much payoff. I'm so happy with this product already. I'm taking the second color to intensify my crease with the color Penny. This is one of my favorite shades in the palette. I love that the color has some red and orange tones. I think it goes well with my skin tone. For the last shade, I'm using the color Almond, the deep red brown shade. Um, just to better explain myself, for the crease, I went in with the light shade, then to the medium, then to the darkest. I feel like it gives you more of a clean look than just starting off with the darkest color. I'm cleaning up the lid with the concealer by MAC in the color NW45. I want my color that I choose to be on my lid to be bright so it's better to clean up the fallout from the crease. Using the color Raw Sienna in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette to set my concealer on the lid. I wanted my eyes to be the focus of this look, so I took the color LA and Metallic Copper shade and applied it to my lids. I did use a little bit of Fix Plus to make it a little bit more vibrant, but if you don't want to do that, the color is still beautiful on its own. the Inglot eyeliner gel in 77 it was so hard to do this on camera it's not perfect but once I put on lashes it will all come together For the sake of this video, I decided to do my eyelashes off camera. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies. So my brows, I feel, is the most important step of any look. So I'm using the next Brow Wiz in chocolate, lightly filling them in. I like a more natural look these days, and this just gives me that natural look that I'm looking for. Thank you. 
No lie guys, this is one of the best foundations. I have been looking for a good foundation that lasts a long time. And this one has a 12 hour coverage. If you're looking for that one that doesn't smudge and that will still look the same from when you first put it on, this one I recommend. I am in the color Almond. Using the MAC concealer from earlier, putting that under my eyes, I'm using the neutral shade first so I can conceal those dark circles and then I will put the lighter shade for my highlight later. Now I'm taking the Bare Minerals Concealer in Dark to Deepest for my highlight shade. They, they kind of look the same on camera but it is lighter in person. set all of my hard work under my eyes, I am using the CoverGirl Loose Powder in Medium to do a light baking. I leave it on for about one minute. To set my foundation, I'm using the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Setting Powder in Mahogany to make sure the rest of my face stays in place. Now back to the eyes, I'm taking the color Beach, Penny, and Almond, the same colors I used on my crease to give my lower lash line dimension. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking the shade Naked to brighten up that area. This is my all-time favorite mascara that I have been using for so many years. It makes my lashes so long and volumized. And I, this is the MAC Extreme Dimension Mascara. That highlight though, <laughs> using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duro to give me that beautiful glow. I love it. To finish the look, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in New Truffle. I didn't want it to be too precise because I will be applying a gloss on top. My lip gloss is in the color Fashion Scoop. It's one of my top lip glosses lately that's my go-to. And that completes this look, you guys. Now on to the awkward posing. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you want to see more of me just check out my Instagram and my Snapchat and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!